trust me this video will be helpful to you throughout your lifetime because i'm gonna let you know something very interesting about arduino json platform in general now here i'll insist you to watch out this video for at least 40 seconds and then decide whether to skip this video or not just imagine you got a website from which you are getting an api of a really useful data and now you want to use that piece of data in your microcontroller like esp32 maybe to display it on an led screen or maybe to use it for any damn purpose how would you do that now here the arduino json library will be definitely useful but not only that the arduino json platform will also provide you the ready-made arduino code by just providing the actual json formatted response onto their platform it means you literally need to focus on the actual application and the rest of all the things will be handled by arduino json platform isn't this interesting? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the demo of using Arduino JSON library as well as Arduino JSON platform by making a very interesting project of displaying current date and time onto the OLED screen using the ESP32 board. And after watching this full video, you'll be confident enough to fetch the data from any website and use that particular piece of data for your projects for any purpose. So without wasting time, let's get started with this video. This video is sponsored by LTM, which is a PCB designer based software company. Now, let me tell you one very interesting, very unique feature about this software, which I bet you haven't seen in any other PCB designing software. And that feature is called as follow me mode. Now, this is truly very useful feature, which I can't explain it in simple words. Rather, let me show you the actual video of this particular feature. Have you seen that? the path automatically adapts the curve quite seamlessly. And now I can imagine making this kind of path in any other PCB designing software would be really a tedious task for sure. Now you can also try this and many other features of this PCB designing software by just clicking on the link mentioned in the description. Yes, by clicking on that link, you'll be getting a free trial version of LTM designer software. So go ahead, try it out and if you find it interesting, you can purchase this software later on. Okay, so starting with our Arduino JSON journey. So first of all, we need some website who gives the API of some really useful data. And for the demo purpose, I'm using this website called as worldtimeapi.org from which you'll get the API for the date and time of almost all the contents and all the countries on that content. Okay. Okay, so now here the API structure goes like, first of all, you type the host name, then slash API slash time zone. And here you have to type the name of the content. In my case, it is Asia. Okay. And if I press enter, as you can see, it displayed uh, all the countries on the Asia continent and we just need to specify the country name whose time we want to fetch okay in my case as I'm from India I will type slash Kolkata and yeah here is the IST that means the Indian standard time and here I'll get the date and time of India I can get the day of the week day of the year and all the details related to the calendar you can see okay so this is the API and this is the JSON formatted response that we are getting now if you're not familiar about JSON then it's just a representation of data let me show you an example so here on the screen as you can see this is the normal representation of the data stored in some variables and if I need to display it in a JSON formatted data then the structure will look something like this so yeah this is the json formatted data so just be clear that json is just a way to represent the data okay so this is the json formatted data that we are getting okay now comes the role of arduino json now, as i told in the starting of the video that by just pasting the json formatted response you'll get the ready-made code and yes that's possible with the json assistant or arduino json assistant so i'll copy uh, this particular response i'll go to the arduino json website uh, first of all let me just take you to the home page so yeah here is the arduino json website so it's not just limited to the library it's kind of a whole community in general okay now here you can go to the assistant and here it will ask a couple of questions so first of all we have to select which processor we are using so in my case it is esp32 i want to deserialize the data that means i want i'm like giving you the json data and i want the uh, what you can say uh, individual data in response that means we are deserializing okay and input type will be string click on next and here we need to provide that uh, uh, data so i'll paste that data okay and after that i'll click on this prettify to make it in a well arranged json formatted data so this is the json formatted data in a well arranged manner okay after that i'll click on the next button it will automatically calculate the size okay so the total size of the data is 768 bytes so this much our uh, data we are getting when we call that particular api link okay so yeah this is done here the data calculation and 
and after that if i click on the next button as you can see here is the ready made program given directly by the arduino json assistant okay so here they have, they have declared the size of the data they also declared uh different different variables for all the different data that we are getting and not only that they also cleverly recognize the data type of that particular response for example the abbreviation uh what you can say uh variable is of the type constant character pointer that means basically it is a string Sim uh, similarly d of the wig is an integer variable uh dst was a boolean variable so all the data type was also recognized automatically by this particular smart assistant okay so we can just simply copy this code and based inside or already know with uh, without you know calculating any number of data or making any new variables okay so that's the smart thing that's the great thing provided by the Arduino GSEN community okay so uh, what I'll do I'll simply uh, copy this particular thing okay and after that now let's jump on to the Arduino uh, ID and let's see how to actually use this particular data and upload it onto ESP32 board okay so I'll open the Arduino IDE and uh, here is that ready-made code uh, which I made just to display the date and time now if I uh, show you this uh, code again then here as you can see we are you know fetching each and every data that we are uh, you know uh, that is coming in the response for example client IP the date and time day of the week everything we are fetching okay but for our project we want to use just date and time okay so what I did here is I copy and pasted the code here which is this so this much uh, code was pasted directly from that uh, JSON uh, Arduino JSON assistant and I just uh, you know kept this single line which was mentioned here okay because I was interested in this line only I didn't want all other data okay so I just uh, you know wrote this single line and deleted all the other lines and with this I am able to get the current date and time of India okay now the normal question arises that what is the code about this particular JSON part? Well, this is a very simple code just to make our ESP32 board get connected to the Wi-Fi router. And as soon as it gets connected to the Wi-Fi router, we also need to connect it with the host server. In this case, the host is worldtimeapi.org. Okay, if I take you to the code part, then here as you can see, we are beginning the serial monitor. We are connecting to the Wi-Fi, which is pretty simple. And after that, we are you know declaring the client and connecting to the host. Okay, so that's a simple code that we need to run and after that we can you know paste that JSON part okay and uh, here in case if you want to use some other website to and call some other APIs well you just need to edit the host name and URI host name is nothing but the uh, what you can say domain of that particular website and URI is nothing but the uh, what you can say API link which is written after the host name okay so that thing you need to change in case you are using some other APIs and yeah that's it like this is how you you can call the API, use the Arduino JSON assistant to get the ready-made code that can be uploaded on the ESP32 board. So without wasting time, let's just directly upload it to the ESP32 board and let's see if we are getting the response or not. Okay, as you can see, the code is uploaded. Let me open the serial monitor. And if I press the reset button on the board, then it says connecting to the router and that's connected got its ip address and as you can see we got the date and time data so we got that single data out of the multiple data that we are getting in response okay and this a single line contains a lot of data just like uh, this is the date and this is the time okay so we are getting the enough or useful information okay and now we can use this data in any of our project maybe to make a clock maybe to make a smart watch maybe to make anything okay so you can use this data okay and for the demo purpose i already Already made one code in which I'll be able to display this particular date and time in one small tiny OLED screen okay and for that I changed the code uh, just a little bit okay I use this Arduino SSD 1306 library uh, and by the way you also need to use the Arduino JSON library in case you don't have it I'll leave the link for both the libraries in the description of this video okay and after that what I did here is I just you know separated the time and the date from that single line okay so here in the response if i open the serial monitor so in, here in that serial monitor as you can see i'm getting this much line of code i'll copy this and i'll let me just paste that uh, uh, thing here like okay so as you can see we are getting this much data and response and now we want to display the date and time separately and for that i use this much line of code in which i took the help of the substring method which will help us to divide the string and use that individual uh, string separately okay so here i'm, I'm storing the time 
here I'm storing the hours and after that I'm also converting the 24 hour clock to the 12 hour clock by using some mathematical calculations and straight after that I'm also displaying the date on the screen and not only that I'm also displaying the day now in the response we are getting the day in the integer format so I converted that integer formatted data into the string formatted data and in the end I displayed both uh, date and time and day on the OLED screen so that's a simple line of code and I'll provide this code in the description as well so you can definitely refer it for your uh, you know knowledge okay and I'm updating this display after every 60 seconds so after every minute we'll be getting a new data onto the screen okay let's just try it off if it works or not I'll click on the upload button and in the meantime I'll make the connection of the OLED screen with the ESP32 board something like this Okay, so the code is successfully uploaded and I'm also getting the data on the OLED screen. Let me just turn on the smartphone's camera. So yeah, here is the time and date and also the day. So it's 3.24 right now, 11th of February and it's a Friday. So I'm getting the data onto this tiny little OLED screen which is connected to the ESP32 board. And thanks to the Arduino JSON library which made this project way, way more simple with a less number of, less line of codes and with less, very less complexity. So yeah, that was all about the Arduino JSON library and the Arduino JSON assistant. I hope you got to learn something new from it. Well, I want some very valuable feedback from your side. Like, were you knowing about the Arduino JSON assistant before watching this video or not? Well, do let me know that valuable feedback in the comments of the video. Well, that will make me sure that making this video was really worthful, okay? Also, let me know what kind of projects will you be making with the help of this library and this great assistant. Well, I personally felt this assistant uh, very useful and will definitely using this for my entire life, maybe because API is the base of IoT and Tech SMS is also in the field of IoT. And yeah, we'll be definitely making very cool projects using this Arduino JSON library. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss out any of the projects that we are going to make in future for this new studio, for this uh, lovely audience. And now nah, that being said, I'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video. Explore, learn, share with me. Techie SMS.